from yourself to your mat. Uh, those of you who are joining that maybe don't know who I am, my name is Krista and I am co-owner of Kula Wellness Yoga Studio in Sunnyvale, California. And we're gonna go through a fun little practice today. Um, so grab your mat, grab your blocks, grab anything that you need to support yourself and we'll go ahead and start. We're gonna come into a tabletop position to begin our practice today. So tabletop position, we're on all fours, hands and knees, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, and I just want you to start to move your body in a way that feels good for you here. So just swaying those hips side to side, rolling out through the shoulders, maybe taking some big circular movements here with your body. Remembering to roll it out in one direction and the same thing you do on that side if you can do it on the other side Big big circles And for some of us this might be the first thing we're doing all day all week So really noticing any sticky parts of the body Any tension in the body any resistance as you move here and then we'll eventually come back through stillness and sit back into a child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees open wide, extend those arms up and over your head, and then melt your forehead down on the ground. Again, knowing that this is a posture that you can come to at any time in your practice. Relaxing here. Maybe even choosing to set an intention for your practice. Maybe you offer a dedication to someone, something. Maybe you let that intention just be for you to focus on yourself, to love your body, to move your body, and to take care of your body. Take a moment here to formulate that. And we'll start with some breathing together. Take a big breath in through your nose. Take an open mouth exhale to sigh everything out and release. Big breath in through your nose. Open mouth exhale, let it go. One more time just like that. Big breath in through the nose. And open mouth exhale, release it and let it go. And on that next inhale, we'll come up back to that tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, and add in our cat-cow movements. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the heart and the chest, and then exhale, tuck your chin to your heart, round through the spine like a cat. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart and the chest. Exhale, tuck your chin to your heart, round through the spine. Go ahead and take three more here at your own pace. So remember to go with your breath, adding in any other movements that feel good here for you. So remembering those sway of the hips like we did earlier. And just warming up through the spine. Last round here. And then on that final cat pose, We'll inhale back to a neutral tabletop position, looking down on your mat, tuck those toes under, lift your hips up high, finding that first downward facing dog. So from here, paddling out those feet, you should feel a nice stretch down the back of the legs, maybe even in the soles of your feet when you come onto those tippy toes and then release the heels back to the ground. And again, movement here that feels good for your body. Remembering to take care of yourself throughout your practice. Good. Finding some stillness now, melting those heels to the ground, chest down to your thighs. We'll hold here, lifting the hips and the tailbone higher up to the ceiling. As you melt those heels to the ground, maybe take a little tiny bend into the knees to drop that chest a little closer to the thighs. And then from here, we're going to take an inhale, rolling high onto our tippy toes and forward into a high plank. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. 
exhale back downward facing dog one more time inhale roll forward high plank holding here breathing for three two and one we're gonna lower to our belly so no, lower those knees first if you need to keep those elbows hugged in close to the body as you lower down all the way to your belly baby cobra blue shangasana keep those arms exactly where they are inhale lift the heart in the chest exhale forehead to your mat inhale to lift the heart in the chest exhale forehead to mat go to one more time inhale lift that heart and chest hover your hands off of the ground pinch your shoulder blades back behind you press the tops of the feet into the ground breathe here one more breath lift an inch higher and then exhale to release god from here we're going to press back child's pose big toes to touch knees open wide reach your arms up and over the head press your forehead down into the mat sink your hips back to your heels and take three breaths here big inhales big exhales two more inhale exhale take last one here and just remembering this child's pose at any point in this practice if your body needs to rest you're welcome to come here in this child's pose next inhale come back up tabletop position shoulders over the wrists hips over the knees we'll add in our sunbird posture right leg extends back behind you left arm reaches forward thumb facing up from here your hips are squared off right toes are flexed to the ground there's a straight line from your heel to your fingertips option to stay here or add in your core take an inhale and then exhale crunch elbow to knee inhale to lengthen exhale crunch elbow to knee inhale to lengthen exhale crunch elbow to knee inhale lengthen reaching back here take a bend into your right knee if that's available to you left hand reaches back for your foot and then kick into your foot opening up that heart and chest we're here for three two and one lower that left hand to the ground right leg is going to stay back behind you tucking the left toes under lift that right leg up high three-legged down dog your hips are squared off shoulders are squared off really reaching that right leg up high toes flex to the ground in our three-legged down dog from here exhale crunch that right knee to your nose hold it core engaged nose touches your knee maybe for three two one inhale extend it back long behind you and then exhale step that right foot all the way in between your hand that left knee is going to lower here so this is where those blocks might come in handy maybe your pillow maybe something else that can be supported underneath your hands and you can rock back and forth so you'll straighten the right leg and then re-bend into the right knee and continue to rock back and forth Just warming up the back of that right leg here. And then from here, we'll sit back into that half split. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Flexing those toes towards your face. Digging your heel into the ground as if you're playing in the sand and you want to build a moat around your sand castle. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, fold a little deeper. And then we'll walk both of your hands over to the right. So we're reaching over to our right side of our body. You should feel a nice stretch in that IT band here. And then we're gonna come back through center. Take a bend into your right knee, finding your low lunge. So some of you might keep those hands down beside you, maybe on your block, on your pillow, whatever you're using for support. Some of you might take your hands onto your knee. Some of you might reach those arms up and over the head, finding your low lunge. Relaxing those shoulders down the back here. Maybe take your gaze up to the sky. And breathe for three, two, and one. On your next exhale, open arm twist over to the right. So you're facing over to the right, maybe taking that left hand onto the back, that side of that right knee, pressing into your knees so that you could twist and gaze back a little further. Good. 
And then from here, we're going to bring both hands to heart center, twisting that left elbow to your right knee prayer twist. Thumbs towards your sternum, gaze up, and breathe. One more breath here. And then go ahead and lower those hands to the ground. Tuck the back toes under, lift your knee off the ground. We're stepping back and holding a high plank. Your heels stacked over the toes. This time we're gonna take a chaturanga. So you again, lower the knees first if you need to, or if you want to lower in one piece, keep those elbows hugging close to the body at a 90 degree angle, lower halfway down. From here you come onto the tops of the feet, upward facing dog, or advamukha. Hold here for a moment. Maybe take a lazy up dog, let the thighs lower to the ground. If you want to add in, press into the tops of the feet, lift the thighs off of the mat. And then from here, we'll roll onto those toes, find your downward facing dog. And breathe here. Three breaths, big inhale, big exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Come high onto those tippy toes, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, shift back down, dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Exhale, back down, dog, one more time. Inhale, roll forward, high plank, hold it there. This time, try to lower all the way to the belly without lowering those knees. We're gonna add in that shoulder stretch. So from here, extend that left arm out to the left, Palm facing down onto the ground. Your left ear comes to the ground and we're gonna peel that right side body open. So dropping that right foot behind you, maybe dropping that right hand behind you, and hang out here for five breaths. Breathing in and out through the nose. Trying to let those inhales and exhales be as even as possible. Got two more here. Last one. And then slowly make your way back to center. Nice and slow. You might feel that blood rush back through the arm and the shoulders. Same thing on the other side. So our right hand's gonna extend out to the right like a T, palm facing down onto the ground here. Then peel that left side body open. So that left foot drops behind you. And then that left arm wraps and drops behind you. And and then we're gonna breathe here, hanging out, resting. Good. We're here for three more breaths. Good, one more breath here. And then slowly roll your way all the way back through center. Those hands come back by your chest. And we'll press our way back, child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees open wide, arms extended up and over your head, forehead melting down on the ground. Breathe, remember that intention. Remember what brought you to your mat today to practice, and what brings you to your mat always. Then inhale back into that tabletop position. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Adding in to the other side, left leg is going to extend back behind you, toes flex to the ground, right arm extends forward, thumb facing up. You're looking down on the mat so that the neck also stays neutral, so we're not looking up. We're crunching our chin to our heart. Hold here, or add in our core. We'll inhale together, and then exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach back, and then bend into your knee. Right hand swings back for your foot. Kick into your foot, open up that heart and chest. We're here for three, two, and one. Release the right hand. Left leg stays behind you. Tuck the right toes under, and then we'll inhale, lifting up to that three-legged down dog. Left leg stays long behind you. Toes flex to the ground. Hips squared off, shoulders squared off, gazing back at the right toes. And then from here, we'll exhale, crunch that knee to your nose. Hold it for a moment, let your nose touch your knee. Good, inhale, extend it back. 
Uh, exhale, step that left foot in between your hand. Right knee is gonna lower. Again, using your blocks or just having your hands on the ground. We'll rock it out back and forth. Warming up through the back of that left leg. Good. Eventually, hanging out in that half split, digging your heel into the ground, toes flex to the face, we'll inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, drop your nose to your knee, breathe, for three, two, and one, walk those hands over to the left, both of your hands on the block or on the mat, whatever feels good for you, hang out here. And we'll come back through center, re-bend into that left knee, find your low lunge. Again, your hands are either by your side, on your knee, or maybe you reach those arms up and over the head. Relaxing through the shoulders. So notice here if we crunch our shoulders up to our ears like this, let's see if we can melt them down the back. Gaze up, relax. We'll find another big inhale. Then exhale, take that open arm twist over to the left, gazing back at your left hand. Right hand comes to the side of that left knee. Press into the back of that palm, twisting. Notice how you can gaze even further back behind you. And bring both of your hands to heart center, thumbs towards your sternum. Right elbow comes to your left knee. Prayer twist. And gaze up and over that left shoulder, maybe up at the sky. And then from here, we'll lower both of those hands down onto the ground. Tuck the back toes under, lift that right knee off of the ground, step back to your high plank. Hold it here. Again, for that chaturanga, so knees first if you need to. Maybe try lowering in one piece, elbows hugged in close to the body, upward facing dog. Hold it for a moment, shoulders roll back behind you. And then come back to your downward facing dog. Melt those heels to the ground, your chest back to your thighs. Take a moment to breathe for three, for two, and for one. Good. From here, gaze at the top of the mat, bend through your knees, and then just start to walk those feet all the way forward. Coming to a ragdoll pose. First, one inhale to a halfway lift, flat spine, and then exhale, release and fold into that ragdoll. So grab a hold of opposite elbows here. Take a moment to sway side to side. Uh, notice here if we're having our hips press back to the back of our mat, can we bring them forward? Get them stacked right over our ankles. Notice the stretch in the back of the leg a little bit more here. Release all that stress, all that tension, let it all go. Release those hands heavy to your mat. Find a little bit of a bend in your knees. And then very slowly, one vertebra at a time, we'll start to roll that body up, coming all the way up to standing. Shoulders will roll back behind you, the head and the neck come last. Your palms will face forward onto your mat. Breathing here, feeling to Dasana, your mountain pose. Lift all 10 toes off the ground. Maybe re-lower them one at a time, starting with the pinky toe. This might be hard for some of us, but try to create that space underneath the soles of your feet. Shoulders are rolled back, palms face forward. The crown of the head is reaching up to the sky, imagining that there's a beam of light coming from the top of your head, lengthening you. Maybe you feel your body grow an inch or two taller. And then we'll take those half sun salutations. Next inhale, arms will reach up and over the head. Take your gaze up in between your palms. Exhale as you dive down, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale to fold. Two more rounds. Inhale, rise, extend it to dust, and I look in between your fingertips. Exhale, bow down, forward fold. Inhale for your halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, rise, extend it to Dasana. Reach those arms all the way up. Last round, exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale through your halfway lift. Good. Uh, exhale to fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reaching up. Taking a baby back bend this time. Cactus those arms. Press your hips forward. Open the heart and the chest up to the sky. Inhale, back through center. Uh, exhale, forward fold. We'll take those full sun A's. Inhale for your halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, plant your hands onto the ground. Step both feet back into a high plank. We were here before. Lower through your variation of chaturanga. Knees first if you need to. Upward facing Urdhva Mukha. Downward facing Adho Mukha. Breathing for three. Two. And one. From here, bend those knees. Look to the top of your mat. Walk your feet forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, extend it to the asana. Arms reach all the way up, look up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, stepping back, high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing, Urdhva Mukha. Downward facing, Adho Mukha. Again, three breaths here, big inhale. Big exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and at the bottom of that exhale, bend through your knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or maybe hop forward, inhale to your halfway lift, exhale to fold, inhale, rise, extend it to dasana, we'll add on from here, exhale, dive down, forward fold, inhale for your halfway lift, and then exhale, plant those hands, step, or maybe try a hop back to a low chaturanga. Upward facing, all the way back, downward facing. Breathe for three, two, and for one, inhale that right leg up high. Toes flex to the ground, gaze in back at your left toes. Exhale, crunch that right knee to your nose. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, step that right foot in between your hand. This time we're going to rise up to a high crescent lunge. So from here, your right knee stacked over that right ankle. Left heel stacked over your toes. Hips are squared off to the front of your mat. Arms reaching up and over the head. Again, shoulders relaxing down the back. Gaze up. And breathe. Holding for three. Keeping that back leg as straight as you can, as active as you can. Take an inhale here. Exhale, open arm twist. Gaze back at that right hand. We were here before on our knees. Good. So if you need to lower to your knee, you're more than welcome to. And then again, bring both of your hands to heart center. Left elbow is going to come to your right knee in a prayer twist. Thumbs towards your sternum. Gaze up at the ceiling. One more breath here, and then release those hands to the ground. Step back high to low, upward facing, back to downward facing. That other side, left leg inhale, reach it up high, and then exhale that left knee to your nose. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, step it in between your hand. High crescent lunge. Good. Tailbones tucked under here. Feel that opening in the right hip and so as big bend in that left knee. So notice here if you're shifting the hips back, spine straight, tuck that tailbone under, sink lower in the left knee, you'll feel a deeper stretch in that right hip and so as. Arms reach up and over the head, relax through the shoulders, gaze up. Calm, steady breath. Inhale here together. Exhale, open arm twist. Gaze back at your left hand. Both hands will come to heart center. Thumbs towards your sternum. Right elbow to your left knee. Prayer twist. Thumbs towards your sternum. Gaze up at the ceiling. Hold for three. Two. One. Lower both of your hands onto the ground. Step back into your high plank. Take that chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing. 
Hopefully the body is nice and warm by now. Breathing for three, two, and one. Bend those knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward. Halfway lift on your inhale. Forward fold on that exhale. Inhale, all the way up, rising up, breathing here. Arms stay over the head, big toes to touch. Our favorite pose, chair pose, Utkatasana. Good, sit back nice and low, tailbone tucked under, gaze up in between your fingertips, arms nice and straight. Don't cheat this posture, it's a good posture. Sit a little bit lower, breathe for three, two, one, forward fold, release it all out. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands, step back high to low plank. Upward facing, all the way back, downward facing. Breathe for three, breathing for two, and for one, right leg inhale, reach it up high. From here, step that right foot in between your hand. We're coming into warrior one. Drop that back heel down. So your back heel is at a 45 degree angle. Your right heel and your left heel are in line with one another. Hips squared off to the front as you rise up and reach those arms up and over the head. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Gaze up and breathe. Relaxing. Good. From here, we're going to clasp our hands behind our back. To come into a humbled warrior. Pull those shoulders back behind you. Open up the heart and the chest. Exhale, bow forward. Try to keep the palms clasped together as much as you can here. So notice how they want to splay apart and you keep them clasped together. That will give a difference in the shoulder stretch. Good. From here, we're gonna keep the hands exactly where they are. Right toes are gonna to turn to be parallel with the left toes. So now we're in a wide-legged forward fold with those arms reaching up and over the head. Breathe. For three, two, one. Release those hands to the ground. Shake out those shoulders. Maybe sway side to side in that wide-legged forward fold. Good, and then we'll inhale to a halfway lift. Walk your hands back to the front. So your right toes are pointed back. You're in your runner's lunge. We're gonna plant our hands onto the ground about six inches or so in front of us. Shift our weight into that right foot. Lift the left toes off the ground in a standing splint. So keep your hands on the ground, maybe on your block, maybe on a pillow. Some of you might even try for that balance taking one hand to your calf and then the other. Nose touches your knee as you hold for three, two, and one. If you do have your hands on your leg, lower them back to the mat. We're gonna activate that core and lift that torso into warrior three. Strong right leg to tough transition. Breathe here. For three, two, and one. Crescent lunge, lower the left toes down. Inhale the arms up and over the head, high crescent. Exhale that open arm twist to the right. Adding in a different transition here. We're coming to warrior two. So from here, we're just gonna helicopter those arms all the way around. Lowering that back foot so that it's now parallel to the back of the mat. My right knee is stacked over the ankle. My arms are open to a T. I'm gazing over my right fingertips. And breathing here. For three, two, and one. Flip that right palm up. Reach forward. Reverse your warrior. Tip it all the way back. That would be a nice side body stretch. Keep that bend in the front knee, don't lose it. Option to keep that left hand on your leg. One more big inhale. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands all the way to the ground. Step back, high plank, lower chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing. 
Thai period for three, two, and one. Left leg, inhale, reach it up high. We're going in for the other side. From here, step that left foot in between your hand. Warrior one, drop that back heel down. Inhale, rise up. Square your hips off, gaze forward. Breathing here, hanging out. Relax through those shoulders. Good, we're here. Two, and one. Keep that back foot active, clasp your hands behind your back. Inhale, open up that heart and chest for humbled warrior. Exhale, bow your head down. Left shoulder drops inside of that left knee. Let the head go, let the neck go. Again, practicing keeping those palms clasped together as much as you can. Breathe for three, two, one. Keep the arms exactly where they are. Turn those left toes to be parallel with the right toes. Wide legged forward fold. Breathe for three, two, and one. Release those hands. Take it all out. Inhale for that halfway lift. And then go ahead and walk those hands back to the left toes. Good. Hands on the blocks on your mats, about six inches in front of you. Big bend into that left knee. Shift and lift that right foot off of the ground. Find your standing splits. Option for that balance. If you have a handstand practice and you want to play with your handstand, you're more than welcome to. Be mindful of the things around in your house or wherever you're practicing. God. One more breath here. And then release those hands down onto the mat or your block. Activate that core. Lift up, warrior three. Hang out, I know that left leg is burning, mine is burning for three, two, one, lower down, high crescent lunge, inhale the arms up and over the head, exhale, open arm twist, good. And then from here again, we're helicoptering into our warrior two, dropping that back heel down, it's now parallel to the back of your mat. Your gaze is over your left fingertips. My right, left knee, sorry, is stacked over my left ankle. My hips are squared off to the right. Keeping that knee exactly where it's at. Don't lose that bend. Flip the left palm up. Reach forward and reverse your warrior. Tip it all the way back. Breathing for three. Maybe take that half bind for two. And for one, cartwheel your hands down to the earth. Step back high to low. Up dog. All the way back. Down dog. Breathing here. For three. Breathing for two. And for one, let's go through another vinyasa flow. At the bottom of that exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat, walk or hop forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Up dog. All the way back to down dog. Breathe for three. Two. And one, walk your hands back to your feet this time. So you're in a wide-legged forward fold at the back of your mat. Toe heel those feet out as wide as your mat. Get even deeper. And then sit to yogi squat malasana. Good. So we're in our yogi squat. We want our knees to be open, nice and wide. Hands to heart center. Press those elbows into the knees. Thumbs towards your sternum. So you're at the back of your mat here. Option to stay here in this yogi squat. If you want another, an extra little challenge in your practice and want to take a crow pose, you're welcome to play with crow pose. A pillow or your block might come in handy here underneath your forehead. If you're worried about uh, busting your face, which I was the first couple times I ever tried to practice this. So we're in our yogi squat. Take your hands, lower them down onto the mat. 
They're about shoulder width distance apart. We want to create a triangle where our gaze goes and where our hands are. So come high onto your tippy toes, take your gaze about six inches or so and at the tip of your mat, take your knees as close into the armpits as you can, shift your weight forward, your gaze is forward, you don't want to look back, then maybe float one toe and then maybe float the other. Maybe just play with one at a time. Maybe you don't fly at all, that's okay. Take a moment to play and breathe. I'll count us down for five, four, three, two, and one. We'll meet back in that yogi squat malasana at the back of your mat, tailbone tucked under, thumbs towards your sternum. Use those elbows to press those knees open. And then go ahead and lower your hands down onto the ground, straighten those legs, toe heel them all the way into touch. Inhale to a halfway lift, flat spine, exhale fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reaching up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to our halfway lift. Plant your hands onto the ground, walk them all the way forward into a high plank. Lower chaturanga. Up dog, Urdhva Mukha. Down dog, Adho Mukha. Right leg inhale, reach it up high. And then bend your knees, stack your head. Add in just a little bit more core here and then we'll start to cool down. From here, exhale that right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, take it back, bend that knee, stack your hip, keep the shoulders squared off. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, extend it back, bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale, knee opposite elbow. Inhale, take it back. Bend your knee, stack your hip. From here, right shin comes parallel to the front of your mat. Take your pigeon pose. Walking that left leg back behind you, hands by your hips. Open up that heart and chest, and then bow forward. Again, maybe you use the block or the pillow underneath your forehead or your hip. And we'll relax and breathe here for at least five breaths. With every exhale, maybe allow the body to sink a little bit deeper. Breathing. Take two more breaths here. And then go ahead and come back onto your hands. We'll tuck the left toes under. Kick that right leg all the way back behind you. Shake out that right leg. Out if you have waterfall or wild thing in your practice, you can bend that right knee. Flip your dog all the way over. Hips lift up high. Right arm reaches to the front of your mat. And then rotate your way all the way back to down. We'll go for the same thing on the other side. Left leg, inhale, reach it up high, bend that knee, stack your head. Add in that core, exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it back, bend your knee, stack your hips. Shoulders stay squared off, exhale, pull your knee to your nose. Inhale, extend it back, bend your knee, stack your hip. exhale, knee, opposite elbow. Inhale, extend it back, bend your knee, stack your hip. Exhale to pigeon pose. Left shin comes parallel to the front of your mat. Right leg is long behind you. Square those hips off. Open the heart and the chest on an inhale. And then exhale, fold it forward. And rest. Notice what arises here for you on the left side. Any thoughts that are lingering on your mind, no judgment of them. Just simply let them go. Take about two more breaths here. Then walk those hands back to your hips. 
Tuck the right toes under, kick that left leg back along behind you, shake it off, bend your knees, stack your hips, and then if you do it on the other side, then you can here, go ahead and flip that dog. Lift the hips up high, left arm reaches to touch the front, and then rotate your way back, down dog. This is our last one here, so you're welcome to take your final vinyasa flow, rolling forward for that high plank, chaturanga, up dog, all the way back, down dog, hang out here and breathe for three, two, and one, lower your knees, tabletop position, setting up our puppy pose, keep your hips stacked over your knees, and walk those hands to the top of your mat, melt your heart, your chin, your chest to the ground, hanging out in this puppy pose for five breaths. Notice the shoulders, the chest can't all the way touch the ground, that's okay. Maybe put a block or a blanket or a pillow under there. Last breath. And then shimmy your way all the way back, child's pose. Let that forehead rock side to side just to release through the neck a little bit, especially if you have that chin on the ground. And then from here, we'll just press our way up to a seat and then swing your legs around. We're going to come to lie on our back. Soles of the feet on the ground. Maybe one more little core activity from here. Reach your arms forward, engage the core, and then very slowly, one vertebra at a time, lower your way down. Walk those heels close to your glutes. Hands by your side, palms facing down. We'll take two rounds of bridge pose for our practice today. First round, hands by your side, take an inhale. On your exhale, press and lift those hips up. Maybe roll the shoulders back behind you, clasp your hands underneath your back and press those pinky fingers down into the mat. Hold for four, three, two, and one, release the arms up and over the head. Very slowly lower down. Go ahead, reset yourself for your second round, Yogi's Choice. If you want to take full wheel, you can, or take another bridge pose. Wherever you'd like to go, either start with those hands by your side, or take those hands by your ears. When you're ready, take an inhale and on your exhale, press and lift up into whatever variation works for you. Holding here for three, two, and one. If you're in that full wheel, tuck your chin to your heart before you lower all the way down. And then once the lower back has met the ground, start to rock those knees side to side. Windshield wiper them from right to left, to left to right. And then eventually, you'll drop your knees to the right, gaze over to the left in a supine twist. Arms out to a T, or maybe you cactus the arms, whatever works best for you. Allow the eyes to start to close down here. Let that breath start to settle. Deepen the inhales and the exhales. Shoulders stay on the ground. Getting that deep stretch and twist in the lower back. Slowly coming back through center. Drop those knees over to the left. Gaze over to your right. Again, maybe the eyes close down. The body relaxes. We'll come back through center, 
hugging those knees into your chest. Happy baby pose. Reach for the outer edges of the feet. Find your happiest of baby postures here. So rock it side to side. Straighten one leg, straighten the other. Maybe let a fun little laugh out or a big smile forms on your face. If you just gather in that feeling and sensation of what a baby feels here. And we'll breathe for three, two, one. Bring the soles of the feet to touch. Lower them down here. Supta Baddha Konasana. Reclined butterfly pose. Go ahead and take one hand onto your heart, one hand onto your belly. Close the eyes down. Start to soften the breath. And then for every finger that's touching your body, send yourself a little bit of love, comfort, peace. Life is always going to throw us a little bit of challenges here and there, especially with what happened with what is happening in the world right now. Can you remember and know that you're there for yourself? You can offer yourself this sense of peace, relaxation, and tap into that at any point. When you're feeling anxious, stressed, worried. So just to take a moment to do that for yourself right now. And then when you're ready, you can lower those arms out wide, lower the legs down long, or stay where you are. That's totally okay. Any last wiggles you need to take out of your body, go ahead and take that here. Get comfortable in whatever form of Shavasana works best for you. We'll end with one breath together. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it all out. Let your body melt into the earth for the last few moments of this practice. In silence and in peace. start to bring some life, some breath, some movement back into your body. Maybe reach those arms over the head, give yourself a full body stretch from the tip of the fingers to the tip of the toes. Hug your knees into your chest. Maybe roll onto your favorite side, take a moment, recenter, ground yourself. And then when you're ready, you can tuck your way up to a comfortable seat. Allowing those eyes to close, allowing the body to rest. Tailbone is on the ground, spine long and straight. Notice if you feel any different now versus when you first walked onto your mat. And then we'll sweep those arms up and over the head, bringing your palms to touch. And then exhale, pull your hands down to heart center. If you want to join from home, you can, but I will seal our practice today with one sound of OM. If you'd like to join, exhale all of that breath. Inhale together. Sense is the center of your forehead. 
Then bow your head to your heart, sealing everything together. The mind, the heart, the soul. Thank yourself for making this time and space for your practice. And thank you for letting me guide you. Namaste. Hmm. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed practice today. I will be teaching again Friday at noon. So hopefully I'll see you guys back on live. We're here um, on at Kula Wellness, or you can also find me on my Instagram at, at sunkissed underscore yogi. So hopefully I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.